and welcome to the channel Invest Function. In this video, we are going to discuss about a candlestick pattern called Three White Soldiers, which we are going to use it for intraday trading and positional as well. What we are going to do is we are going to use Charting Scanner and uh, scan the stocks in which this Three White Soldier candlestick pattern is formed. So it will be difficult for us to manually open every stock and see whether the Three White Soldier is formed or not. So we are going to write some codes and retrieve these stocks and we are going to do it for intraday as well as positional. So before going to the topic and see how this white, so what is white soldiers, how to retrieve and when to take the position and everything. If you are a beginner in stock market and would like to open a DMAT account, I have given the link in the description of this video. You can use this link to open account and get all the courses that are featured in our website powerpango.com. And you can also get our support on this number, get the courses as well as support in this. So be before going to this topic, let us see a quick intro, then we will see about this topic. Okay, now if you see, uh, this is called three white soldiers so continuously we will have three green candles like this so I will show some images I have shown it here you see here first white candle then second and third and this is going to be a, a big uptrend so mostly the three white soldiers will be forming will be formed at the bottom of the downtrend that is when the trend is going to reverse and at the bottom of the trend we will we will be able to identify this three white soldiers and we can see some good up move so now let us uh, see what exactly three white soldiers i will show some images so that you get used to it then we will go to charting and uh, write the codes and we will also see what are the conditions how we need to uh, write it so here are some images for you so this is called three white so, so uh, we have a downtrend then there is a good uh, trend is going to reverse so here you see spot the three white soldiers so th the condition for three white soldiers is so every candle open will be less th than the close so if it opens here the close will also be uh, close will always be at the top so open is always less than close otherwise we can say close is greater than open so every candle we will have this kind of pattern so that is only when the open is less than the close or close is greater than the open we will have the green candle because the stock will open here and it will close end of day here so that means we have a green candle so like this every candle will every day or every 15 minutes or whichever time frame you see the candle will be formed like this so Previously, we have a red candle. We will also write a condition to identify whether this is a red candle or not. We will do everything. Okay. So, you can see some other images. It will be like this uh, immediately start of the trend or three white soldiers. It can be like this or it can be uh, like with wick or without wick. It can be anything. Okay. So, this is normally how we need to identify the three white candle. Now, we will see how to write and uh, write the code and identify in which stock this three white soldier is formed like that so now i'm in charting website now we are going to create a scanner by writing some codes to retrieve this candlestick pattern like what you are seeing here the three white soldiers which have three green candle and uh, before that we will have red we will also do a comparison with the volume for each and every candle whether the volume is greater than the previous one for that we will write four lines of code so for that i will first go and create a scan at the top click create scan you can scan it in whatever the segment i will choose future so first condition will be in order to before writing the first line of code i would like to explain why i am writing this in the first line of code what we will do is we, we like in the three white soldiers like that so every candle is a green candle that means open will be here at the bottom and close will be at the top so that is whenever open is low and the close is at the top it means it is a green candle for red candle it will be opposite uh, the price would have opened at the top and closed at the bottom okay for any uh, green candle if you keep on this 
the open will be at the bottom for this if you see 1988 and close is 2057 so that is the condition so I'm going to uh, write a scan and uh, search in three minimum minimum of three candles and see whether the uh, open is uh, lower and close is higher in that particular time frame I'm going to use a five minute time frame zero of five minute like I said we will use minimum function which is we will use minimum three candles right again we will use uh, 0 of 5 minute close 0 of 5 minute close minus 0 of 5 minute open must be greater than number 0 see why I write or wrote this is if you see 0 of 5 minute close which can be 8 rupees okay and open can be at 3 rupees right so 8 is at the top stock opened at 3 rupees and 8 rupees so we have net 5 rupees plus which is plus 5 which is greater than 0 that is the reason the stock will be in green color we, it will check for 3 can minimum 3 candle from 0th candle okay next we will uh, compare the highs with the uh, first candle high with the previous candle high that is what we are going to do similarly what we will do is 0 of 0 of 5 minute again we will use the time frame 5 minute minimum minimum function minimum duration of here we are going to use 2 because I will tell you why we are going to use 2 first I will write the code minimum of 2 candle 0 of 5 minute high minus previous candle high previous candle see you like I said we have three candles so this is zeroth candle this is minus one candle this is minus two candle and finally we'll have minus three candle okay first we will not see minus three candle now we are only dealing with three candles zero minus one minus two what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the high of this candle with the this candle okay and again I will do a comparison of high with this candle that is what I am going to do so if this high is greater than this high again here the greater than will become and greater than number 0 so now you will ask why I put 3 here and 2 here because here I am going to do a comparison this with this and this with this if this is true and if I compare this and this will uh, anyways true that is the reason I am going to compare this with this and this candle with this high if this is condition is greater than 0 this is then the actually it is high that is how it is so I don't have to compare the first candle and 0th candle and minus second candle because this any anyway this candle is bigger than the minus 1 and here if you if I am doing comparison with minus 1 with minus 2 again minus 1 is greater so obviously even if I do a comparison with 0th and minus 2 minus 0th will always be higher that is the reason I am putting 2 minimum function third I will compare it with volume ok again similarly we will have volume 0 of 5 minute minimum min function here what I am going to do is I am going to use the same two minimum two function 0 of 5 minute volume minus minus 1 of previous candle volume greater than again 0 okay now I did the comparison with the candle whether it's a green first condition then whether this high is greater than this this is greater than that third whether the volume 
whether this volume is greater than you see here see this volume is greater than this and this volume is greater than this right this is bigger this is smaller this is very much smaller that is the idea so we have written these quotes now and we have got we we can we will write one more quote because we need this red candle right we need to identify whether this candle is red for that we will simply write third candle open greater than close minus third right minus uh, third candle so minus third candle open must be greater than greater than minus 3 close see the candle this is open and let us say 8 rupees and close is let us say 5 rupees so open this is open is greater than close right this means red candle right because the price has actually decreased from open and when you compare it with low and the final condition will be now we've got these items uh, we were able to scan these four now what we will do is whether this zeroth candle is uh, uh, higher than the previous 20 candles we will calculate 20 candles from minus 1 candle and do a comparison whether 0th candle is higher than the previous 20 candle that means we will it will show that particular stock so 0 5 minute high greater than zero of 5 minute high greater than previous name candle zero five minute high greater than previous candle here we will use a max function we are going to check 20 candles okay zero five minute high from 20 candles from minus one candle and compare it with zero five minute high so this is how the code will be you if you run this you are not getting any in future let us see if we have any, any cash so we have jupilant industries let us see whether there is a five minute candle you see okay so in five minute candle this is uh, for zeroth candle minus one minus two and if uh, compare it with 20 previous candle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 12, 13 this is actually higher okay this is jubilant industries so that means we are going the stop loss will be at the bottom so this is a very big stop loss so you avoid this stock only when you have stocks with uh, reasonable stop loss the stop loss will be at the bottom and uh, you can take position in five minutes or three minutes or two minutes or one minute whatever it will definitely give good results i hope uh, you will you got a clear idea uh, you can save the scan so if you want that want to change the time frame first i will save the scan you can also see the back test results after saving so if you see here uh, change the time frame to 15 minutes it will automatically change here also if you change here 15 minutes it will change here also if you change here to 15 minutes it will change here also this two alone you need to manually change this 15 minutes 15 minute 15 minute and uh, this is all automatically changed see in 15 minutes i have one two three four five stocks so you can see the volume let us see db slab whether it's a 15 minutes uh, is giving good results
some error fetching the chart mm. blue star code let us see our sap and So 15 minutes we have 1, 2, let us see if this is uh, open is 332, um, open close is 331.05. So this is a red candle, this 3 candle <coughs> we have, so this should be green, let us see the other one. Maybe it's not updated at the last moment, the data would have, feed would have not been uh, clear. DV slab, let us see DV slab. See, DV slab is uh, wonderful. See, this is red candle and the volume is keep on increasing. Okay, once it breaks this, there's going to be a good rally. So, you can also go to back test results and see uh, what happened on June 21. Mo mostly, if you take this entry in the morning time frame, like uh, before 10 uh, there will be consecutive uh, white soldiers and if it breaks it it's a boom so this is how it is i hope uh, you got clarity on this so thank you for watching if you are new to the channel do subscribe and uh, let me know bye bye